Bless you, siblings. I'm actually doing this message specifically for somebody. Um, as you see in the title, this message is for Aaron from Sparrow's Nest. Um, and it's not a it's not a written message like uh, like something I usually get. But God wants me to make some prayer uh, some points for her. Aaron, this message is for you. I pray this gets to you. Um, and I hope you're blessed and encouraged by this message. So I'm reading off bullet points right now. Um, so I just want to thank you, Aaron, for all you've done throughout the years from when I uh, first got to you. Uh, I haven't been following you. I've been following you for many years, but not from the beginning, beginning. So I thank you. I want to thank you for all you do and all you have given and give. Um, and I basically want to encourage you. The Lord put this in my heart to um, make this video for you. Uh, after reading your latest dream, uh, today's twelve two. Um, so I want to encourage you. You do hear from Jesus, okay? Um, you know that. Yet, you know the enemy tries to creep in doubt and plant seeds in you that bring um, doubt. He's trying to root doubt into you, which is why <laughs> you constantly hear Jesus tell you, uh, you worry too much. So the Lord wants me to let you know, don't replace his truth with the enemy's lies, with the enemy's doubts. Amen. Um, justice. Okay. So he, he, the Lord wants me to encourage you, don't replace the enemy's truth. I mean, the enemy's lies, sorry. The enemy's lies with Jesus' truth. Um, I also read in your latest dream, uh, and I, 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 I just want to say I'm sorry that you lost your disability, but partially I'm also kind of glad, as uh, I'm kind of glad to hear because you are in what God wants you to understand is you are in his monetary system. You are being uh, blessed, your finances, everything is from God. It's not man's system that is providing for you. And if you don't understand that, God just wants me to help you tweak that a bit. And he wants you to realize it's him who's been blessing through many endeavorous avenues. So the reason I say I'm kind of glad to hear that is because God is going to do something new, something different. And it's not new. It might be new to your life, but it's always, it's the way he always operated. Um, he wants you to trust in his finances and not the ma man's finances. Amen. You're going to be going. So that's why I say, count it worthy. Count it. Okay, fine. Lord, this is, this is what happened. And I know you have opposition. We all do. Um, I was pl placed in God's monetary system because he told me I work for him. So you work for him now, or you've been working for him. But I think he's trying to change your mind frame, trying to get you to understand fully that it is in him. So we are to operate in faith, you know? You know, what's funny is um, the Lord told me that I work for him months ago, maybe last year, actually. And the other week I was telling God, I was, as I was driving with my whole family, I had told God in my head, I said, you know, Lord, you know what the, what the, what the thing is about working for you is you never know is I never know when you will bless me, whether it be in different manners or financially. And it's funny, the moment I said that, not even three minutes later, <laughs> like three minutes later, I get an alert on my phone that someone deposited, that someone blessed me financially. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm just telling you. So you never know when or how God's going to bless you. But the reason I tell you to count it okay, worthy, is because you're under God's financial monetary system. So you're going, I believe, I proclaim and I decree, you're going to be getting blessings from left and right in many different ways and god just wants you to know is you know as you're doing this and 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 um telling people what god has been telling you 
That's work. You're working for God. Amen. And he's going to bless you on account of that. Not just because of that, but you, his grace and mercy, but also because of the work that you do for him. Amen. Um, and he causes, you know, funny thing is he causes to be children, right? A child doesn't worry about how the bills are going to get paid. That's the parent's job. Not to mention you work for him. So I just want to encourage you, something new is going to begin to happen in your life. And again, I pray that this gets to you. Um, and I want to encourage you as well as you have a gift that many, if not all of us, wish we had. You get unrestricted access to Jesus, to the Father. Anytime you sit in that devotional chair or anytime you speak to him, he shows up immediately. He stopped. He's gave you that blessing that he no longer, you no longer have to wait. You're instantly uh, speaking to him and you speak, you hear him audibly or however way you hear him, but you hear it. You know, we wish we had that. I'll be real with you. Um, and he tells you, you got, he's not going to talk to you in parables anymore. He's going to be frank with you, which is amazing. And we, we who follow the master sparrow, we know that we believe it sits right in our spirit. Amen. Um, so a lot of things that you say as well are confirmations to what he's shown us to things that we already know. Amen. So you're confirming. Plus, you're also giving us new stuff. Amen. And I would really love for you to realize the gift that you have, no matter how you receive it or how God sh sh shares it with you, you do hear from him. Again, he tells you you worry too much because I can tell in reading your dreams and your visions that you worry a lot. But also, I understand because a lot is coming at you. But um, if I can be frank, uh, I take God at his word. So when God tells me things, I, it, for example, if he tells you don't worry or you worry too much, that implies that he's taking care of everything, that he got you, you know. Just it, when he says, I got you. That right there is not just one statement. That's a multitude of statements. You know, he got you in every aspect. You're his chosen. You're the one that writes for him. You're his scribe. He's called me a scribe one time, and I was, I was blown by that. But nonetheless, you're a scribe. You work for him. Is he not going to take care of his workers? Of course he is. Not to mention what he has already bestowed on you, what already he has shared with you and told you who you are that you might have not even shared in uh, public. Amen. Um, and I don't know if this is, this is uh, why you do this. Um, but when you say, again, he spoke to me in my devotional chair. I don't know if that's a way that you're just trying to assure to us, the readers, that you hear from him. Many believe you already hear from him. I included. Um, you don't need to assure to us if that's what that is that if that is why you say that you don't need to assure to us. Um, we know you hear him, but forget the scoffers, forget the mockers, forget the, 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 the scoffers, the mockers, forget the doubters. You just do what Jesus tells you to do, whether they believe you or they don't believe you. That's not you. Don't, it's not your job to convince them. That's the Holy Spirit's job. Amen. You just do and put out what God tells you to put out, what Jesus tells you to put out, put out there, and don't worry about people not believing, people thinking you're crazy, none of that stuff. Brush it off your shoulders, amen? Dust yourself off and keep going. Keep doing what he's calling you to do. Um, so don't worry about them. In fact, I encourage you not to worry about them. You just do what God tells you to do. Um, it's like when Jesus walked around, he said, who do men say I am? Amen. But he didn't need their approval or their acknowledgement to know who he was. He already knew he was God. 
He was just inquiring, what do they say I am? But he didn't, he didn't need their affirmation to solidify who he is. And it's the same thing with you. You hear from God. You don't need no one's affirmation to know you hear from God. Amen. Huh. So I want to encourage you with that. Um, so I have here. Uh, uh, Jesus, uh, he just so basically, I just want to encourage you. Don't doubt. Just like Jesus says, you worry too much. Don't worry. You know, bills come away. The enemy's going to come hard at those who really hear from him at those who really use him so i know your ailments and, and i and i read it <laughs> i read it a lot in your 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 dreams where you're like oh when am i gonna get here when am i gonna get healed it's coming amen um i've had i have suffered from a dis uh bulging disc this degeneration or whatever they want to call it i don't receive that but I do feel the effects from time to time. And I get where you were at when you couldn't move, where you couldn't. You're not the only one that's in that position. Uh, there are many people out there that, that suffer from certain things like that. And um, I just want to encourage you, just keep doing it. Amen. So I understand if he told you this is going to happen, it's going to happen. Just sit and wait on that promise. Amen. No matter what your body's telling you, you're feeling what your body's telling you, you're going through, just um, just sit and wait on that promise. That's what all of us are doing. We're just waiting on that beloved promise, the transformation, the translation, the rapture, all that stuff. We're just waiting on these promises to catch up, which, to be honest with you, I feel like it's any time soon. Um. So he is your, your, your boss in essence. He will pay you for what you have done and your gracious and, and your, his grace and mercy as well. And as you know this, I'm sure you know this, uh, payment is not just financial, amen? But I know in this world, that's how the system operates. But we, we you and us, we... Uh, operate in a much higher financial system where giving is is giving is key blessing is key but we we operate in the monetary system of yahweh god jesus elohim he has a whole different system that he operates under and that's where you are operating under so be encouraged he got you amen so I pray you receive this. I pray this gets to you. And, you know, this, what I'm telling, what I'm telling you right now, it's not just for you. People are going to be seeing this. And this is going to spill over to them. They're going to pick up bits and pieces and say, yeah, this is, this is, uh, this is for me too. Amen. Because that's just how God operates. So I just want you to be encouraged and all of you to be encouraged. But I pray that this message gets to you. I pray that, um, Everyone who knows her, who gets this message, please send it to her. Because this is directly from Abba Yahweh. He inspired me and told me to do this, to encourage you. And I'm only going to listen to him. Amen. Like he told you, and he tells you in your dreams, if you hear a thought multiple times, then that's me. <laughs> and that's exactly what I heard with this message. Amen. So click this Click this link when you get it, listen to it, and be encouraged. Um, if you want to email me, I'm uh, unifiedrevelations at gmail.com. I'm also on Facebook, Unified Revelation. You can message me there if you want. You know that there's a group out there that I'm part of. There's a group out there on Facebook that I think might have been dedicated to what you do and they reference your dreams a lot you reach a lot of people with your dreams with your messages with your encounter um with jesus i mean personally that's what i look forward to sometimes when i click your your dreams i just go straight to where you're talking with jesus and then sometimes i just go up and read the dream but that's my that's like manna that's bread that we're getting we're getting direct information from jesus through you so, again, I just want to encourage you, keep doing what you're doing, uh, be blessed, don't worry, don't let the enemy see doubts in you, 
Um, and I know sometimes, because it happens to me, I know sometimes that the manner sometimes is different how Jesus speaks to us, and then we begin to question. Amen. So everything that is good comes from God. So be blessed, be encouraged. Um, be safe. God bless and receive this in Jesus' name. And I thank you for what you do and continue to do it. You edify us in Jesus' name.